Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm back in my bathroom again. And I have some drugstore makeup that I picked up. And uh, so I wanted to show you. I got this. I got this at Walgreens. The Cinderella A Dream Come True All-in-One Highlighter Bronzer Blush. It was $4.99. And when I went, I had $5 in rewards points. So I used them. That's the packaging for it. It comes with this cute little brush, which, I mean, it's okay, but it's not an It Cosmetics brush, that's for sure. So it comes with this little brush with the little slipper on it. And I can try to remember to keep track of my time here. And then here's the little compact. The dream come true. And it's cute because it's a clock and it's on, it's on go almost to midnight. So here are the colors. Uh, the pink one is pretty smooth. Oh, geez, you're not even going to be able to see them. Hmm. The pink one is pretty smooth. The others are a little, especially the, the darker gold one. I think I kind of blended those together. The darker gold one is probably the most gritty. Oh, the two gold ones are. So I hope you can see those. I should put some lotion on my arms. I'm so dry. And all swirled together. I'm going to mess it up. That's what it looks like all swirled together. Shoot, I hope you can see that. <sighs> I have my makeup eraser, which I love. I want to um, talk about this more in a little bit. Then, let me put a little bit of lotion on here. So how have you guys been doing? Who's getting hit with bad snowstorms? I tell you, I do not miss cold winters and snow and blizzards, well, I haven't had a blizzard since I lived in Wisconsin, but no, I am not missing it one little bit. Okay, got some lotion on. Let me see where I am time-wise. Okay. Um, I got this at Walgreens also, and at the time I bought it, I thought it was, Rimmel was um, cruelty-free. I don't know why. I knew it wasn't because I used to use her eye makeup remover, but this is the Rimmel Kate Highlight Illuminer Contour Sculptor and Blush Color. I guess that's supposed to be French or something. So, and this is in the color 003 Golden Bronze. Very nice. It's what I have on today. So I have all of those on today. Aren't I glowy? So here is the highlight. The highlight highlighter is a little hard and not very creamy. I forgot how many colors this came in. But there you go. Oh, and my battery's going to die. Wonderful. Okay, we'll continue. Hey guys, I'm back. While the battery was charging, I went down and made my, made my lunch. So, okay. So, talked about those two. And then I got this Wet n Wild palette. It is the Quartz Center, is the name of it. Quartz Center. Very nice. I really like this palette a lot. As with Wet n Wild products, the palette's not easy to open. But I used, just used tweezers to open it. 
these are the colors and it comes with the dual ended brush which is you know it isn't too bad um, it's actually two brushes so blending brush and a dome brush or whatever the hell they're called so um, I'm going to try to do these on my left arm. So what have you guys been up to? As I said earlier, I hope nobody is um, dealing with the crappy weather. I know Lisa, Lisa Rose is. She lives in on the Jersey Shore so I don't think we're gonna get her Jersey Shore video anytime soon you know what I really suck at doing swatches <laughs> so anyway can you see those at all see I I'm horrible at swatches I always think I'm doing it the right way but so oh nice I swatched my jacket so from the lightest up to the darkest and then that's the very end one. So hang on, I'm using my, my makeup eraser, I really do like this. Um, yeah, okay, hang on. Can you see them better now? So the lightest up, and then there's that one. I just love this one. This one here. I love that one for the crease. Beautiful colors. They go on well, beautifully. Um, the only thing is there really aren't any mattes in it. So other than um, this, the two purples, like this one, Why do I even bother? Oh my god. Never mind. I'm going to get rid of that. So, these two here are the more, I'd say this is more of a satin and this is more of a matte, but beaut beautiful. I just really, really, I mean, look at that. And this one. just gorgeous they wear all day although you know what I've never had issues with eyeshadows not wearing all day unless those odd few times that I tried cream eyeshadows that would of course crease but so that is the wet n wild and this is cruelty free I'm trying to do the cruelty free thing you guys then I got this Milani palette I love this one um, it is the Earthy Elements, it has beautiful warm colors in it, and that's what I have on my eyes today. I really like this palette. Again, it doesn't have any, um, there are no mattes in here, so should we try to swatch these again? Give it a go. Now, how are they going to show up? Okay, so I'm going to do it here. Those are the first three. These first three right here. Oops, palettes in the sink. Then, do those. Well, that wasn't too bad. I wanted to make this video yesterday, but no, not yesterday, two days ago, but it was cloudy. And then yesterday I had to run errands. So, and this also comes with the dual ended brush, which isn't bad. It's got the, uh, that kind and that kind. And the gold case is very pretty. Uh, no mirror on either of these, and the cases are not extremely sturdy, but 
I have worn this almost every day since I got it. I really, really, really like that palette. And then I got a couple of, how are we on time? Okay. I got a couple of palettes from the Dollar Tree, the Profusion. Now, I doubt that these are cruelty free. Where are they made? Oh, in China, so no, they aren't. And again, it's a difficult one to open. Come on. I was just watching Alaska State Troopers. Oh. They were doing a segment in Fairbanks. And it was like 12 below. So this one does have a mirror. It has a, I'm going to take this out, the dual ended sponge applicator. And this one does have a mirror. This is called, uh, hang on, I don't know what it's called. Lacy, Lacy Journal is what it's called. Should we try swatching? <laughs> Oh, at least we can get a laugh out of it, right? And this one does have mats. Okay. So there are the first three. There are the next three. I should do it like Terra Babies does. She does them like this. Maybe that's what I should do. And there's the next three. Except I got that in too far. There are the next three. And there's one more. So, this is so awkward. How do people do this? How do they do it well? I don't know. So there you go. And there you go. And it's another swatch fest fail for me. All right, one more palette to go. How are we on time? One more palette and a few other little things. See, I mean, it doesn't even want to come off. I don't remember what the palettes cost other than the ones from the Dollar Tree. Um, I think the Milani was like $10.99 and I had all three of them in my cart and then when I found out the price I was like, whoa, I'm just going to take my favorite one. And um, so this one is called Glitterazzi's Journal and that's the cover and this also has a mirror in it. And here are these colors. So I'm just going to restart before I start the swatch fest. <laughs> it might take a while. Okay, so let's do the Glitterazzi. There are the first three. Aren't they pretty? They are so pretty, and they're there in my fingers. This is the most activity I've had in a video probably ever. Oh, why did I wipe those off anyway? Whatever. Okay. Then, oh, the next three. Look at the, look at how intense these are. I really do fail at swatching. <laughs> yep. So the next three. Very pretty. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. And 
Those are the last. It's like my arm just isn't made for swatching. I don't know. Well, thankfully, that's over. <laughs> man, oh man. I guess I don't have to worry about taking these off. Because we're done swatching. And look at I mean, they still don't want to come off. Okay, so that was the Glitterazzi's Journal. The Profusion Lacy Journal. Dollar Tree. Wet n Wild Studio Eyeshadow Palette in Quartz Center. And where did the other one go? Oh, it's right here. The beautiful Milani Everyday Eyes Eyeshadow Collection in Earthly Elements 05. So, love. Love that one. Okay, and then I went to Walmart because I had seen Sally Salamander Style, I think is her channel. She had gotten these. Um, and she had the Magic Eraser. And so she did a video comparing them. Now they don't really feel the same dry. I haven't taken them out. But these are $3 at Walmart. $2.97 or something along those lines. And um, so these are a dollar a piece versus 20 And I was going to go back and get another makeup eraser because I love it so much. Um, but I'm going to, so I'm going to do a comparison video with these. Um, it definitely does not feel as plush as the makeup eraser, and it's a bit smaller. But if it does the same thing for a dollar a piece, I'm happy with that because then I can just throw them in the in the laundry. What I do now is I use it to remove my makeup, and then I use one of my bar soaps that I get at Dollar Tree to wash it and everything comes out easy peasy um i was at target and i got um three elf items i got the flawless concealer brush in the studio line very nice and soft elf makes some really nice brushes and then I got two concealers because I, I do use the um, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes Concealer. But I also use the Maybelline. And once I've done with the Maybelline, I wanted to get something that was cruelty free. Which e.l.f. is. Show right there. So I got this one. This is the Perfect Blend Concealer. And I got it in light beige. I don't remember how many shades they had. And then I thought I'd try the ELF HD Lifting Concealer. And this is in Fair. So I thought it might be a good brightening and lifting. That would be nice. Maybe I can bathe in it. Jeez Louise. Okay. So here is the, and it's uh, 0 0.22 fluid ounces or 6.5 milliliters. That's the doe foot, nice and creamy. So that's what it looks like. And use my brush. Oh, well, that is nice. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, I think I'll just keep this one in the package. So I wanted to try those and see if I could find a cruelty-free option for the Maybelline. I mean, I, I realize it isn't the same. Because that Maybelline one is so good. You know, the one in the with the sponge applicator thing. So, okay guys. Well, that is it for my recent drugstore purchases. And, oh, and on my lips I have... The e.l.f. Matte Lip Color. I love these. These are really good. Um, this is in 
dash of pink and they're just in the little kind of like the uh, what are the name of those that everyone goes nuts over hmm I don't remember but they go on creamy and smooth they're long lasting they don't dry my lips out and they taste sweet so covers all the bases for me so that is my little um, drugstore haul that I wanted to share with you so I hope you guys are having a great day thanks for watching my video and I have more beauty videos um, like I say I want to um, do a compare side by side comparison with that so okay guys I'll just talk to you in my next video thanks for watching love you bye